look at the 2007 uh, national design policy may be a very simple document but for the institution uh, it was a it was a game changer uh, the two campuses which were set up in time uh, from 2003 to 2006 the process of setting up the campuses took place and thereafter logically in 2007 when the design policy came and later in 2009 and following the year the the situation with the postgraduate programs uh, made it possible for the institute to become a national uh, institute of national importance. One of my colleagues uh, from NIFT the other way was uh, talking to me and, and she was telling me that one of the things which we did, which all the people were watching at that time, how an undergraduate institute uh, like NID, which had only a, a higher level program attached to it, uh, uh, led to 17 postgraduate programs in a span of less than five years. And we had programs like information design, software, user interface, interface design, design experience uh, in uh, the two areas of retail and digital experience and toy design and development, automobile and transportation design. And we introduced uh, the programs of postgraduate programs, which nobody had seen at that point in time. And I'm happy that, you know, if uh, emulation or uh, copying is the best form of uh, uh, admiration, then I would say that almost all the institutes in the country have followed suit by most of them slightly changing the name here and there, but by and large introducing those postgraduate programs. And uh, when a NIFT uh, uh, faculty recently told me that after uh, the graduates uh, you know, come out with the undergraduate program in NIFT, they are all taking to the postgraduate programs which are offered in NID. This shows that the timely introduction of the postgraduate programs along with the national design policy which gave a prime importance to the institute and what it could have done more was something probably uh, you know if uh, NID had allowed the national institute uh, of design to be a separate entity and India design council a separate entity uh, it would have been probably better with the headquarters uh, maybe in uh, Delhi uh, looking at a global orientation to Indian design so India's manufacturing activity which Honorable Prime Minister has called Make in India or served from India which was already we had called in the national design policy a design enabled India, uh, made in India, uh, you know designed in India, made for the world and served from India. All these were coined already but Make in India and Startup India and all this came much later, Skill India. Now if this transformation is linked properly, design becomes the essential skill of all Indians to convert the thinking into more innovation and to create ideas which will fetch commercial outcomes, it would have been a much better outcome. Unfortunately, I think it was more uh, of holding the meetings but really having very little outcome in terms of to show uh, where it has headed. And I am also a uh, little bit peeved from the fact that we had a very strong relationship with the, the world body of design exit. And I am happy to say that I served three terms on the board, 2003 to five and then 2007 to 9 and in between 2000 uh, as soon as I began 2001 to 2003. So all these years that connection to the world uh, network of design helped us to understand what Scandinavia was doing with the design policies, what Korea was doing with the design policies and what was the general thinking of the western world in terms of US and Europe. All this actually helped in forming the National Design Policy 2007. But you can see there has been a complete uh, hiatus in terms of building that network later. And there have been hardly any uh, global activities of design happening in India. Uh, very little, uh, you know, exhibitions which have been taken up by private bodies. But I think their more cohesive action uh, would have helped the Indian design designers and Indian design industry uh, to grow. Though it is said that it is about 1800 crores now the design uh, industry in India, uh, probably it could have been my, my many multiples of that, uh, given the uh, the good economic growth of uh, seven percent and above uh, in all these years, uh, in all these uh, decade, uh, just getting behind us. Uh, I would uh, comment on the new policy at an appropriate time, but I would like uh, the designers, the industry, the students, and the stakeholders to make a conscious evaluation of how the design policy has helped one at the point of uh, the institute how the institute was helped by the policy and the designers to think how the design uh, the design policy helped them to grow their design practices and for industry 
through the design mark and others did they did it help them or what could have been done more by the india design council these questions are still uh, you know remain to be answered because finally leadership requires to take risk and if your risk covers designer is not your call you require to take those bold steps to take uh, indian design forward and to make india's voice in design to be heard across the world